Okay, this time I chose a 720 um, quality, and I'm hoping that it can stream a little better with a lower quality. We'll see how it does. And I'll try to move a little slower for you guys because Melissa says that it's breaking up really, really bad. So I'm going to show you my Walmart bedspread and pillow shams that I got. No, ma'am, Marcy. No, ma'am. What? Why are you wanting out all of a sudden? What's wrong? You don't know who I'm talking to, do you? Okay. Well, I'll let you out if you're going to pitch a fit. Let my dogs out. So this is my Walmart bedspread. It's really pretty, I think. And uh, it's the quilt. I'm trying to find the bottom. This is the side it goes. And then I got the shams from Walmart too. And so I got those pastel colors for that little vase to go in here. And then my bedroom, I've got the boat up there on the dresser. And I brought in the bird for summertime that I got a couple of years ago at Bales. I get most everything I have to decorate with at Bales. And sometimes I order stuff off of Amazon, but not a lot. Turn off this fan. It's loud. Okay. And this is a sham I got there at Walmart and put it on a Euro pillow. And now this one I got on Amazon, this brown color. And then these pillows, for summertime, I got, I probably need to slow down some. These pillows I got at um, Bells. I think it's doing a little better since I turned the resolution down. It's not breaking up as bad. Um, I'm hoping. So I put my pretty pillows on the front. And then here's a sham. Yeah, I think it's doing a lot better now. Whoop, whoop, good. There's my bed. A whole set of glasses. This was Mama's elephant. My CPAP machine that I have to sleep with. And dirty clothes. And I'm bad, y'all. Y'all can just go ahead and make fun of me. I take off whatever I'm wearing and throw it in the floor. Yes, I do. Show do. Hope I didn't just cut y'all off. I put my dirty clothes in here in the closet under the bottom. And that way they don't get mixed in with Chris's because he fishes in his. And let me make sure I didn't turn y'all off. I didn't. Okay, so anyway, this is a seat cushion, and believe it or not, you can get them super cheap at Ollie's and Walmart, wherever, and I have these for the cat to lay on in different parts of the house. She likes to lay on them, so I just lay them in the floor, and now this is Chris's clothes here, and I put these in a basket in the laundry room, and I put mine in the closet right there. There's one single smaller house is really little. So we have um, one walk-in closet for his and her. My clothes are on the left and his clothes are on the right. And then I put the shelf in here to help with blue jeans and sweatpants and stuff like that. Um, and then, let me move this. I'll keep one of these. I know that my bra's hanging here, but whatever. 
Um, I keep this here for our shoes and stuff. Yeah. Hang clothes here when I'm too lazy to hang them up. And to tell you the truth, I have not taken my medicine this morning. So I'll go ahead and do that. I keep my medicine out on the counter. So I remember to take it. All right, this is our... Chris mostly gets ready in here and I use the other bathroom now that the kids aren't here anymore. Well, I drop these in the floor, but these are the cheap ones I don't use. I throw them away. They're super paper thin. I read my nice shorts that aren't short shorts and uh casual shorts like i got on today i put in here and then my shirts i put down here just t-shirts that is this is my dog treats i keep them in this coffee make container and here's those hearts remember i showed you guys i got the other day at the store amy works in So this room is ready. Looks a little more presentable. Oh, let's go get my flower and put it up. Let's go throw these in the dirty clothes and then we'll come back and I'll put my flower in here and we'll decide where to put it. Chris's clothes go in here, away from mine. And this is a bunch of t-shirts he folded yesterday that's his. We'll put them on the bed and he can put them up later. I guess I can show you how I do his clothes. In this top drawer in his room, I put his white t-shirts, the things he wears on his head, because I bleach these, um, and his socks right here. And then in this, in this one I put, this is not supposed to be in here, he put that in there. This is usually his nicer t-shirts that I don't mind if he wears them out somewhere. Um, so I put them in this drawer and then any t-shirt that I don't really want him to wear out in public, I put, um, that one's mine. I guess that one's mine. I put in this drawer underneath it, this is his knock around t-shirts and his underwear go in here. And I don't know if y'all have ever seen this underwear or not, but I'm going to tell you. I buy it for Chris and I buy it for my daddy and it's <clears throat> it's a Hanes underwear and I can only find them online anymore. Um, but they have a band that is cotton. See how that looks? It's cotton and it's called a comfort band and he loves them and so does my dad. They're so much more comfortable than the ones that have this type of band on them. See the difference? These are old navy. But I do fold his underwear. I won't never forget when um, we first got together, his sister could not believe that I folded his underwear. And do you know that when we first got together back when I was young and I didn't have fibromyalgia and all this crazy stuff, um, I actually ironed his shirts and i also ironed his white t-shirts that he wore underneath his shirts and lord now nothing gets ironed by me if it gets ironed he has to take it somewhere because i just can't do it no more all right this in here is my little vase we got for my room so i'm just going to take these little flowers and shape them up and put them in my room. So I bought this green one for the middle. And after you get them home, you can, you know, pull them out a little bit so they're a little bushier. This one, white. That one's gonna have to be bent. Purple, pretty, pretty, ain't it? Let's 
Let's see if we can kind of stick this one through that one. Yeah. Pink. And this is going to go in my bedroom. I may have one more in there I can put in it. I don't know. Let's see. This is my fruit I got. And this is my other hanging basket I got. So I got two of these for that room out there. So no, this is all the flowers I bought. So, so see how they look kind of like my bedroom colors. And so now I got to decide where I want to put them. They're really cute. Guess I'll put them up here. All my jewelry, pretty. This is um, my earring holder. All these are cheap earrings. I get cheap jewelry. Most of them are five dollars or so fires with so I'll keep it yet I'll put this in here because Chris has got to help me hang these today all right and then I got to decide what I'm gonna put all this fruit and vegetables in let's see y'all I got lemons and fruit. So what I could do is take this fake cabbage and put some in here maybe, or I guess I could put my 4th of July Betsy Ross up. She goes in the cabinet now, 4th of July's over. Um, I think I'll get a bigger bowl and put the fruit up here with this. This is from Swaggerty Sausage Company. All right, let's see. I got a bigger bowl in here in this top cabinet. There we go. Get this stuff in here. Got me a garlic, peppers, tomato, and the grapes go with the fruit. All right, so, whoops, in order for y'all to see it, I need to put something in the bottom of it. So, you can put. Let's see if I can put um, this brown paper in the bottom of it. Sorry, y'all. I'm jerking y'all around with my head. Oh, and I should have brought my phone in here probably. Let me go get it. Yeah, it's working so much better on a lower resolution. Um, the 1080 resolution just didn't work. So when I put it on 780, it's not breaking up and doing all that crazy stuff anymore. All right, if you're just tuning in today, I had a really hard weekend after I went to Hobby Lobby and walked around. That's what it does to me. I'm not kidding. My body, and I know y'all probably think I complain too much, but my body just... It just does not do real well uh, with exercise. <laughs> and it's because I have fibromyalgia. See, that we're gonna see this from the top like that. Let's see how that looks up there. Ooh, it's big. We'll move this. And this, I don't know if I like it. I guess it's okay. I'll let Chris help me when he gets home because he always knows how to fix stuff better than I do. I don't like it. It's too tall, ain't it, y'all? I 
could put them maybe on this. No. Whew, I'm hot. We'll just throw them in here for now and then Chris can help me. I'm getting tired. Okay. We'll have to decide what to put up there. This is where I got my eggs. They're they're fake. This is a real garlic. It's starting to sprout. Anyway, um, I'm too tired. But, so I'll lay them right here for now. And I usually hang up this t-shirt too. And I'm trying to think what else I'm going to do with y'all on here today. There's my mess in the floor over there where I'm working on the cookbook. Um, and we've gotten a lot done already because we started a load of clothes. We loaded the dishwasher. We've put our rocks on our tree. Um, we've unpacked the stuff I got at the store. And so I guess that's pretty much going to be it. I'm going to turn the camera around and say hey and bye. Let's open this up. I don't know where I put my... What are you barking at, girl? This had lemons in it, and I bought lemons too, y'all. Look how pretty this apple is. Isn't that pretty? When I was little, my grandmother had fake fruit, and I just loved it. It's fun to play with when you're a kid. She wouldn't let us play with it. She had these pretty grapes like this. And, uh... I always loved looking at them and feeling of them. You know what I wanted to do more than anything with these grapes? Seriously, I wanted to pop them off and put them in my mouth and chew on them when I was a kid. That's what I really wanted to do. <laughs> oh, the real Tammy comes out. Let's put the lemons in the bottom and the other fruit on the top and this one. I might could have put the cabbage in here. That might be the smart thing to do. Watch this. The cabbage in here and pull the leaves out. It's got a little stopper on the bottom. You can bend these. Let's bend them back good. I got this when we first moved here from one of these thrift stores um, downtown in St. Mary's, but they have so the cabbage in there like that. Well, come here, tomato. I wonder if my uh, camera's about to go off. It may be about dead, y'all, because we've been on here for a while. Look at my eggplant. Anyway, we'll figure something out with that. And then for my fruit, hmm. Let's go get a different bowl. I've got this. This big bowl. Let me move y'all back down. I think we're dying, y'all. pretty that's pretty I like that one but this one is not desirable we're gonna have to do something with that it's just the wrong bowl and uh, so this looks really good I might can put this shelf up there I think it would be really pretty on this level don't y'all let's move some of our dishes up there it's down here 
The day, a day in the life of Collard Valley Cooks. That's about what y'all are getting to see today. This is my rock cleft, rock of ages cleft for me. Lord of mercy. Did I have, this is, I, I put beans in this bowl, in the base of this bowl to put the eggs on top of. That looks good. You can't see the leaves on the grapes. That's cute. I think it's cute. All right, so. Whew, I'm tired already. I'm gonna pull this out and talk to y'all a second. Look at my hair. Let me fluff it up since I've had this thing on my head. Anyway, today I am doing chores and trying to catch up because I'm gonna tell you, I didn't do a thing on Saturday and Sunday, much of nothing. Um, actually, Saturday's the day I took y'all to Hobby Lobby. But yesterday, we didn't go to church or nothing. My legs hurt so bad yesterday. I don't know if there was a front coming in or what the deal was, but, um, so when I got up this morning, I thought if I don't straighten up this house when Chris gets home, he's gonna think I have lost my mind. So I just wanted y'all to see what a mess it was when I got up this morning. And um, I'm gonna sit down and rest a minute and then I'll get up and start going again. So I just wanted to say hello and let you see what it's like <laughs> just at the Nichols house on a regular Monday. The only thing I didn't do that I always do on Monday is stock my toilet paper. I guess I could do that right quick and then I'm gonna sign off. And y'all gonna think, what? I, Monday is always the day I take toilet paper out of the containers and I stock it up in the bathrooms so that if you're sitting there and you're going to the bathroom, you don't run out of toilet paper, all right? So we'll do that. I know that sounds crazy, but I've been doing toilet paper on Mondays probably for 12 or 14 years. So we'll do that right quick because it is Monday. And um, I just want to tell you I love you and was thinking of you this morning. So let's go, let me show you what I do with my toilet paper and then we'll go. <sighs> so what I do with toilet paper is I open this hall closet and I'm about out and I grab a thing of toilet paper I get it from Amazon and you remember me when you're ordering on Amazon to go through my link it don't cost you nothing um, it's what helps me pay the girls cost of living um, but anyway and I get my toilet paper out and I typically if one's about empty I typically put one on the toilet paper holder and in this bathroom, I always make sure there's about four up here in this basket because I'm the girl and I use the most. And if you do this, then you never run out. All right. And then in the other bathroom, I make sure Chris has it on the back of his toilet so he doesn't run out for any reason. And his is running low, so I put this here on his holder. And then I put the rest of these on here for him. And that's what I do on Monday. Toilet paper, believe it or not. Been doing it for umpteen years and Chris wouldn't know what to think if he came in here to take a crap and he didn't have some toilet paper. <laughs> Lord it be! Y'all have a wonderful Monday. And I thank you for watching Collard Valley Cooks. Life in the day with Tammy behind the scenes. See you next time. Love you. Bye. I gotta go. GoPro. There it is.